President Muhammad Buhari has assured Nigerians as Commander-in-Chief he will ensure security of the nation and the safety of all citizens. In his new year later to Nigerians, the President said since he assumed office in May 2015, his government has been fighting on several fronts against violent extremists, cultists and organized criminal networks. The President remarked that, but as we are winning the war, we also look to the challenge of winning the peace, the reconstruction of lives, communities and markets. According to the President, the Northeast Development Commission will work with local and international stakeholders to help create a new beginning for the region. He also expressed government's readiness to continue to work with state governors, neighboring countries and the international partners to tackle the root causes of violent extremism and the networks that help finance and organize terror. Joining me to discuss this is John Wesley, a public affairs analyst. Thank you very much for your time Thank on the news. What do you make of this letter, the content to Nigerians? Well, uh, uh, the letter of the president to Nigerians, I would say, brings hope. And um, uh, like um, every father would want to do to his children, he would want to make them, you know, realize that if today is bad, there's hope that tomorrow will be all right. So that's uh, uh, all I can uh, talk about as regards this letter. However, it's also important to mention that there are certain things mentioned in the letter that we will be looking forward to, you know, ensuring that uh, these things are not just uh, mere statement, their promises and all of that, it should be followed through. Okay, would you say, as a Nigerian citizen and somebody who follows uh, the political and economic discourse in this country, that the, this administration has recorded particular success in any sector of the country? Yeah, in the agricultural sector, this uh, administration, uh, we must, uh, uh, sincerely, we must commend uh, this administration. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you look at a student and uh, you feel that, this because a student is scoring maybe 55 or 60, and you feel that I expect you to score 90, I expect you to score 80, and then you tell the student, oh, man, you're not doing well. I mean, it sometimes or most times demoralizes the student. So if you tell the student that, okay, you've scored 60, uh, that's quite impressive. I, I want you to do more. You, you're able to score 80, 90. So I think the same thing is what we should be doing to uh, this present administration. Yes, we have expectations. Yes, we have high hopes and uh, we believe that uh, there is a lot more that's expected of this administration, particularly in the area of employment, you know, and certain other areas, security, security, you know, is very, very important. So we are expecting more, you know, we keep hearing that uh, we have been able to, you know, uh, battle insurgency to a particular point. In fact, at some point we've heard that we won this and all of that, but we still hear of killings, we still hear of explosions and all of that, you know, but uh, the military will tell you that it's to a minimal uh, extent and all of that, but we expect more to happen in all of these areas here. Um, we talk a lot in this country about the fight against insurgency and insecurity, and the president highlighted that in his speech. Uh, but he did give uh, reference to the uh, rehabilitation effort for communities and individuals and all of that. What more, in your opinion, can they do to highlight that part of the insurgency fight? Because after you dis, um, dismantle the terrorists, the people whose homes have been destroyed need to rebuild. So what more, in your opinion, can they do in this new year to upgrade that? I, I would advise that a lot uh, more of uh, education should be brought into the rehabilitation because, you see, uh, a, a child w witnessed probably his brother or father or uncle, you know, got caught up in an explosion, who died, or who witnessed the chopping off of leg or something, it's going to take a long time for such child or such person to come back to normal. So a whole lot of education, a whole lot of uh, love is required in rehabilitating these people. However, it is important to mention that those people in charge of this process should see this as a process 
that is uh, spiritual. They should not see it as a process to enrich themselves because uh, this we have had a whole lot of reports of people stealing even intervention materials for these people who are meant to be rehabilitated and loved. That. So it should not be something that should be happening. It should be more of love, education, and uh, you know, uh, taking these people through the process of coming back to normal life. Okay, before I let you go quickly, yeah. what would be your message to the government first and then to the people of Nigeria as we enter a brand new year? Well, my, my message to the government is secure the people. You see, a whole lot of people now live in fear. You know, although I, I must mention that uh, towards the end of last year, you know, something happened that it was quite commendable. It's something that we look forward to happening amongst uh, uh, the, 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 the paramilitary, the police and all of that. You know, when they arrested those gang who were uh, attempting to rob a particular bank and all of that. You know, if we have more of such, you know, uh, cooperative work, I, I think security will be more, you know, people will be safer. And I think the government should pay more attention to security, ensure that more is done in the area of employment. I've always said this, and I want to say this again. I don't know whoever is watching now who is in the government. I have said that f for employment, you know, to take more effect for unemployment to be drastically reduced. It's time to inculcate Nigerians into agriculture. Thank you very much for your thoughts on the news. Thank you very much for having me.